BMW is no stranger to electrification. The company put the world on notice with the launch of its innovative iSub brand. But the lessons learned from the i3 and i8 aren't limited to these small volume cars. The more mainstream X5X Drive 40E impresses with lessons learned from i, all without compromising the SUV's character. The combination of a 2.0-liter, turbocharged four-cylinder engine with an electric motor is good for 308 overall horsepower and 302 pound-feet of torque. Sure, 240 horsepower and 260 pounds to foot come from the four-cylinder engine alone, but the electric motor, integrated within the ZF8 speed automatic transmissions housing, chips in a maximum of 111 horsepower and 184 pounds to foot of torque. The 9.2 kWh lithium-ion battery can sock away enough electricity to drive up to 14 miles on a single charge and will recharge at your average 110 volt socket in about 7 hours. Of course, the battery pack and electric motor are a big weight penalty. At 5,220 pounds, the X-Drive 40E is 430 pounds heavier than the standard X-Drive 35i. Still, the gas electric powertrain hustles this Husky X540E to 60 miles per hour in just 6.5 seconds, less than half a second slower than the 35i. The stopwatch figures are complemented by the best fuel economy of any gas-powered X5 at 56 miles per gallon equivalent and 24 miles per gallon combined. Only the diesel X5 X Drive 35D is more efficient at 27 miles per gallon. But achieving top fuel economy in the 40E isn't as simple as going easy on the throttle. Perhaps more than any vehicle we've tested recently, understanding how all the X5's systems work together is crucial to eking out the most MPGS. The X-Drive 40E's drive dynamics control will be familiar to anyone that's driven the recent BMW. Eco Pro, Comfort, the default mode, and Sport make the same adjustments to the throttle response steering weight, and dynamic damper firmness as they do in a standard X5. But in the X-Drive 40E, they also impact the way energy is recaptured. Sport mode's aggressive energy recovery is the fastest way to recharge the battery on the go. When it's working, there's a sensation similar to gently stepping on the brakes, though you actually aren't doing anything, this is a familiar experience to the way most EVs use regenerative braking. Comfort mode reduces this effect, and in turn how much energy is recaptured. And contrary to what you might think, EcoPro further reduces the Regen, but limits the electrical draw from the VAC and other systems. But then there's the 40E's all-important E-Drive button. A simple tab cycles through three different modes that control powertrain behavior. The default Auto E-Drive mode leaves things in the hands of the computer, while Max E-Drive locks the X5 into a full electric mode at speeds up to 75 miles per hour. Save mode forces the X5 to rely solely on the 2.0-liter gas engine in order for power. Put the DDC in Sport and the E-Drive in Save, and you'll recharge the battery quickly while on the go, but not while going quickly. We spend most of our freeway driving in save mode with the DDC set to comfort, rather than sport. Sport's Reagan function is more aggressive, yes, but under constant throttle application, say, while traveling at 70 miles per hour or above, there's no real chance to take advantage of it. On top of that, the 8-speed automatic transmission is loath to kick into top gear. <laughs>